Hey YouTube, Peterbilt Knife Guy. Today we're gonna to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the Cold Steel Trailmaster versus the Cold Steel Recon Scout. Now, both these knives have come in many different steels over the past. Uh, back when they were made in the USA, they were Carbon V, and then they went SK5, and then they went 01, and now they're CPM 3V, and then they had the VG1 San Mai versions and blah, 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 blah. They've had leather sheaths, they have these plastic sheaths. But my question is, which one would you pick if you had the choice? Do you have them both? Are you more of a seven inch guy? Are you more of a nine inch guy? I'm kind of a size queen and I'm kind of a whore, so I had to have both. <laughs> but what would you guys choose if you had the choice or if you could only choose one? Now, the handles, these are different generations. This is the 3V and this is the 01 tool version. But, you know, for the most part, the handles are the same. Same thicknesses, same thickness on the grinds, uh, 5 16 Your real big difference is that two inches at the end there. Two inches at the tip. There's your big difference. Now, What's crazy is there's not a huge weight difference between these. Put it in right here. But chopping, not as much as you would think. For having an extra two inches, you're not getting a hell of a lot extra from the Trailmaster than you are versus the Cold Steel Recon Scout. Um, you're definitely getting more reach. It has a little bit more velocity at the tip when you're swinging it. But as for chopping power, this Cold Steel Recon Scout is still a beast. This this thing is a chopping monster. Um, yeah, it just it's not much of a weight difference. So if you're gonna pack them around, you you're not gonna you could I mean you could tell, but I mean who's gonna be able to tell ounces? I don't think so. But you might be better than me, so maybe you could tell ounces. But for capability. Man, you know, I don't know. I love me some Trailmaster, but this guy right here is just a perfect ass little knife. And I say little, it's still a big knife, seven inch blade. Actually from, from there, from the guard, yeah, we're looking at seven and five eighths. So, you know, it's a good sized blade, but it's a very capable blade and it's much more controllable, you know, in, in like a bushcraft situation or just carving or something like that than this guy. You know, this guy is controllable because it's not a super heavy knife, but you know, if you're doing down here, you don't have all that knife hanging out if you were doing something like this. So what camp do you guys fall in? Do you love them both? Would you prefer the bigger chopper? Would you prefer the more camp chore type knife, I guess? <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. The more well-rounded version. You know, this is kind of like the, the Goldilocks zone. There's the smaller knives. There's your medium knives and there's your larger knives. I consider this knife a medium knife. But uh, where do you guys fall? Let me know. Thanks for watching.